placing limit and stop orders in the matrix. Pulling the trigger when buying on a pullback can be a challenge. As traders, we often watch the market closely, waiting for the right moment, only to miss that key opportunity when it finally appears. To make the process smoother, it's important to plan your trades ahead of time. For instance, if you're eyeing a particular stock and want to buy when it dips to a more favorable level, you can set a buy limit order at your target price. Start by determining how many shares you'd like to trade. Then you may set the order duration to GTC so that it remains active until you decide to cancel it. When you're ready, place your buy limit order, ensuring it aligns with your trading strategy. Order types switch automatically based on where you're placing them, and this can be a time saver. When you aim to buy at a lower price, it's a limit order. But if you want to buy above the current price, it becomes a stop order. This flexibility works the other way, too. When selling, placing an order at a higher price is a limit order, while selling below switches to a stop. Consider this scenario. You're bearish on an index and want to sell short only if it breaks a key support level. To prepare, place a sell stop order at that price level. If market conditions change or you want to adjust the order, you can drag it to a new price point, allowing you to stay adaptive and responsive. Using the TradeStation Trading Simulator to place limit and stop orders lets you practice and learn how to submit these trades without risking your capital. Being prepared and setting up orders in advance can help you react efficiently to market movements without hesitation. Thank you for watching.